Hello friends, this is Ramashama here. Now we are going to start a new series and in this series we are going to create a project with the help of React and Firebase and this project is file management system and this project is having so many advanced features that we are going to see in this video as this is a overview video of this and we are going to create all features step by step from scratch so this is a github repository of this as this is using the previous firebase version as the latest firebase version is also there and we are going to use the latest firebase version when we are going to create project in this series and you will get this github repository and also a new github repository that we are going to create and it will be according to the videos and I will paste the code according to the videos step by step according to the lectures in the new repository as well and both the repositories you will get in every video of this series and feel free to fork this or star this repository and it will motivate me more so now let's move forward towards the overview of this file management system and let's see its features so the this is a file management system starting screen here and you can see the navigation bar with this file management system uh, text here and you can see the login and register button so first of all you have to log in or register and when you will click on register you will get here like this you can register from here and you can log in from here as well so I'm going to log in here So now you can see that we are under the dashboard. So from the dashboard, you can go to home as well as you can log out from here. So when you will go to the home and you can see that now we have the changed buttons here. So first is a, you have the name that is welcome and your name. And after that, we have the dashboard button. So we have the dashboard button and then we have logout button here as well. So now when you will click on the dashboard, you will redirect it to the dashboard route and here you can see the infrastructure of this one and first of all we are having the root folder and this is whole a root folder here and we have some buttons, you can upload the files, you can create files and you can create folders as well. So here you can see that this is the admin folder, so this is a folder that is created by the admin and it in this folder there is one instruction dot preview here but you can't access this file but you can't access this file because these are the files for the admin and these are actually used for the in instructions here so we are going to manage this file as well in the series here so when we are going to start the project and now you can see that we are under the folder here and you can see the route the route is folder and that is for the admin and its folder id and you can see that we have this one here you can move to the root from here as well and now you can create the folders here so see that we have the new folder and when I'm under the new folder and we have many subfolders here so you can create so much folders like you create in the windows or you create in your operating system and subfolders you can create so let's see how we can create a folder here so simply click on this create folder and let me write the same name as we are in the root and this folder will be created in the root only now click on add folder and you will get a message this is already present so we have to change the folder name so that will be new folder 2 and now this folder will be created under this root only now you can see that folder added successfully here and we have the folder and it is an empty folder now if let's move to this folder and here you can create another folder as well so that is new folder now you can create new folder under this folder but you can't create in the same folder in the same root folder now the root folder is new folder 2 and you can create the folders here as well you can create the folder under new folder as well so now let's see how we can create a files here so we can create a file as well so you can see that we have created many files here 
and you can edit those files as well see that this is in desktop c and we have the function and you can see that it is modified and you can save the modified version from here now you can see that it is saved successfully now you can go back as well so you can create so many files under the subfolders as well so you can get the file here and as well you can upload the file here and you can create the file here as well so let's create a file here that is test file so if you did not mention the extension here it will default create a extension of .txt uh, so actually I have created the folder here so I have to create a file so you can see the index.html and like this so that is index file click on add file now you can see that we have the created files under this new folder so that is a subfolder of new folder and you can see that you can edit this text file as well so you can write anything you can save it and you can click on go back like this so we have the dashboard we have the new folder too new folder so there is nothing we have the new folder in the new folder and we have this created file here now you can upload the file as well so let's upload any file so I'm choosing any file from here so let me choose any file so let's choose uh, let's choose this diagram here so I am uploading this file now you can see that file is uploaded successfully and you can see the file here as well and you will get this diagram here so you can see that you will get this diagram and you can view the diagram as well as you can download from here so just this these are the things that we are going to do and this is same like a google drive so i hope you have liked it and i will see you in the next video